Hi, I'm Steve Jones and I'm going to explain how a cathode ray tube works. First of all, what is it for? Well, we've seen TVs and TV screens and that basically is this end of the cathode ray tube. But also it, it is used as a measuring instrument and therefore basically the structure is the same although there is some difference in the centre. But all cathode ray tubes consist of an electron gun producing negatively charged electrons which then are directed in a beam through the tube which is evacuated. There's focusing coils just after the electrons come out. There's focusing coils to make the beam sharp. And then they pass between two sets of plates, we call X plates and Y plates, before impinging on the screen. The X plates, if they're charged, that is if you charge the top one positive and the bottom one negative, then you will find that the negative particles, of course, are repelled by the negative and therefore the actual beam will bend upwards. If you apply the same positive and negative across the Y plates, what you will find is that again there will be a movement, in this case left to right, and these plates will cause the beam to move to the right. So you can cover the whole of the screen just by adjusting the voltage on these two sets of plates. Now the important thing is when you are actually doing this, to ensure that you get a clear coverage of the plates, usually the X plates have applied to them a certain voltage, and that's often called a sawtooth, and it makes the beam go from left to right and fly back very quickly. So it looks as though it's actually going across, and then it will scan the whole of that screen with the information that you want. So that is basically how a cathode ray tube works.